In this video, I will show you how we can use the grid. In my opinion, this is a very useful tool, especially for detailed drawing. In this example, I will draw here all the detailing that I made before in the door of the left. But first, there are a few things we have to know. When we change the zoom of the workspace, the grid is adjusted automatically. So, if I keep zooming in, there will be one moment that the grid will not be adjusted anymore. And when this happens, it means that the distance between two intersections matches the grid spacement. So, I will show you how to set up the grid spacement. I can click with the right button in the icon of grid and click on grid settings. Or other way is typing the command D settings. So it opens the window of drafting settings and I have to be in the first tab to edit everything about snap and grid. As I want this distance as 10, I will go to grid spacing and put 10 for X spacing and the same for Y spacing. I will also insert the same distance for the snap spacing. And what is this? If I click in snap on, and now I'm going to click OK. Now I activate any drawing command, for example, line. And you can see that my mouse only moves over points that are separated in 10 millimeters. And they match the intersections because I put the same for the grid and the snap spacings. To switch on the snap mode, just click in the button next to the grid mode. Or press F9. Ok, now I want to show you how to draw this forest rectangle. As I know that the corner is located at these distances from the frame, I know exactly where to start drawing. So I go 5 squares to the left and 8 squares up. I draw this polyline by putting the distances of each segment. It's a rectangle with 370 per 800. When we finish this part, we will draw the second shape, which is located 5 cm above. I return to the draw that I'm drawing, I activate the command copy, and now I select a rectangle, and I will place it. five small squares above the top of the first one. For the shape at the top, I have to know this distance because it's different. Now, as it's uh, 5 cm again above the other one, I place it here. And now I do the polyline as usual. Finally, for the other side, I will use the common mirror. I select all the objects, the three that I want to mirror. Now press enter. And I have to use the midpoint from the object snap. 
to apply it to this line. I click on the midpoint and now somewhere to make a vertical line. I don't want to erase the objects, I press enter. And I have finally finished the door. Ok, if you think that the lines of the grid are difficult to see, don't worry because it's possible to change the color. And I usually put the lines a little bit lighter. So I will click with the right button. And now I click in options. You can also access to this menu typing the command options. Then I will click in the tab display. And here I click in colors. In this window we can change the colors of all the elements that we want. So for the grid, I will click first in grid major lines. Now I click in the tab to change the color. And I will move this tab a little bit up. Sometimes you have to do it two or three times. Now I click in OK. Then I click in Grid Minor Lines. And I'm going to do the same. But I want to have these lines darker than the major lines. Now I click in Apply and Close. And then in OK. So as you can see the grid lines now are much easier to see. Ok, so that was everything in this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe my channel to watch the complete list of tutorials of AutoCAD. Thank you and see you soon.